hello welcome to my channel my name is Darnell and today we're going to play in some paint some interference paint actually I have here a couple experiments I want to try and I have just a little bit left in all these containers so we're going to use them up <laughs> I say that every time but okay so the plan is I'm going to pour a black base down right here on the freezer paper and then I'm just gonna pour my colors into it dip my cabochons in it and then after that I will dip my canvas in it so excited to see how this turns out so what we have here are glass cabochons they are on top of a popsicle stick that has the tack on top of it you can see that sticky so then you just take the curved part of your cabochon and you stick that to the tap. I then clean the top part with alcohol. So they are all now clean. And this here is a 1.5 cabochon. And these are, that's a one inch. And then I've got teardrop. All right, so, and then this is just a styrofoam circle that I have stuck the popsicle sticks down into. And this is a great way to reuse your popsicle sticks after you've uh, used them to stir your paint. With that, I'm gonna set that aside. And then here is a little canvas. It's a five inch actually from Paramount. So I have painted it black. I'm going to get my paint, stir it up, and then we'll get started with the canvas. Okay, so my black paint here is Liquitex Mars Black. I'm just gonna pour out a base that should be just maybe a little bit larger than my canvas. So, yeah, that'll work. All right, so this is one I have not used yet, and this is the turquoise from DecoArt Media Fluid Acrylics, the turquoise interference. This much gold, hopefully enough that I can get a line of it anyway. DecoArt Blue. Magenta, Deco Art, Violet, and that was Deco Art Magenta. This is the Pearl White Interference by Amsterdam. Interference Red. This is Amsterdam. And this is Amsterdam Pearl Blue. And then I'm going to get that other blue. I don't have very much of it. This is the Deco Art Blue. It's That's a lighter one and this is a darker one. I want those two colors together. We're going to end it with that. So right. I, I want to dip a couple before I roll a marble through it. It might be kind of plain, but... Um, Let's not go with such a big one. Let's do a smaller one. Now you really can't tell much of anything on this side. It's the other side that will be the reveal. Well, I'll have to show you that after they dry.
showing you when they're dry. Let's dip this little guy. All right, so you can start to see some of the color coming around the edges and even starting to develop in here a little bit. So it'll be interesting. Okay, so this is now dry. And as you can see, it did not pick up very much color, just a little bit of hints here and there. So I'm going to try this again. I'm gonna do it a little differently though. I'm not gonna put any black down first here. I'm just gonna put my interference colors down. I am gonna lightly coat this with black, then I will dip it that way. And we'll see if that gives us different results. So to get started, I'm gonna put my colors down here. I want to dip cabochons in that. Because <laughs> I can't wait to show you those. Those came out amazing. All right, let's just do the canvas. All right, so I am going to lightly cover this with some black. I don't want too much on there. Dipping the canvas, take two. So I will come back after this is dry and show you the finished results of both the cabajons and the canvas. Think it'll work this time? Okay, so here's how the canvas turned out. It's pretty interesting. I'm not so sure I would do it again. It's okay. I don't love it, but I like parts about it really well. I mean, it's pretty. It's got some like uh, gray murky areas where maybe the colors blended and you got a little bit of a mud area. It might have been because I ran the marble through it and kind of mixed them a little bit first. Um, it might have behooved me to just put the colors down individually and then dipped in it. I'm not sure. So yeah, so this is how it came out. What do you guys think? It's not ugly. All right, so here's one of the ones that I did after I dipped the canvas. I ran a skewer through the paint and get um, these extra swirly lines so the marble didn't make all of that. Isn't that gorgeous? That is just gorgeous. I'm so excited to show you all of these.